artistic family to Shannon Gibson Art and Designs, and I'm so glad you guys are here. I hope everyone had a fabulous Christmas, and I'm wishing you guys all well during the holidays. So what I have here, guys, is an 18 by 24 back stapled canvas, and several, several months ago, because I love the Dutch pour, um, if you guys know Rinska Duna, then you know exactly what I'm talking about. To me, she's the queen. However, uh, when I get inspired by people, I don't try to replicate. We're all our own individual artists, guys. So I try to get, I get inspired and then I try to make it my own. However, my paints were way too thick. I tried this for the first time with you guys and I have to work on my consistency. But in the meantime, this has been sitting around and it's a large canvas. I don't like to waste. So I'm doing a report today. I am doing a multiple flip cup. And what I have here, guys, are these practical color pour plastic cups. They're eight ounces. I got them in a set of four with four ounce metallic paints from Walmart. They probably still sell them. I think they do. And I love them because they're simple and they're practical and I'm all about that. And I also have a 12 ounce cup. So what I'm going to do is flip these two on the sides, this one down the center, and fill the rest in with white for negative space. At least I'm hoping for negative space, we'll see. So, let's go ahead, go over the colors, and get started. All right guys, so I'm all ready, I've got my colors here. So what I have here, guys, is this gorgeous Craftsmer metallic, or sorry, the Deco Art um, metallic silver, absolutely gorgeous, super shimmery, I've used it before. Then I also have three small um, cups of the Craftsmart Ultra Bright, Premium Ultra Bright Bronze, absolutely gorgeous. I've been using this color a lot lately. I love that tone and shade of it. I'm also using my Folk Art 14 Karat Gold. I've done some replenishing of my other bronze which as you can see, is completely different color than that bronze. So I've mentioned this before guys, not just with bronze, but with many other, other colors, but I find especially with some of the metallics, the different brands will give you a different shade. So if you're going to purchase and you're new, make sure that you look at various colors of the metallics to see which one that you like best. I also have some mixed up Artist Loft Silver Urgent, not my pre-mix, I just used an old bottle, uh, pre-mixed it myself with my regular one-to-one -one ratio and put it in the bottle. Again, I like to be practical and reuse. And then I also have a lot of white because I want the negative space. Okay, it's very thin. So we have six colors that we're using today. And what I wanted to do guys was something a tiny bit different. So what I was going to do, and this is a good little tip for you guys, especially if you're new or maybe not if you're new. Um, I truly believe that you can learn something from every artist and uh, the many that I've watched and learned from over the years, it's, it's completely true. So you might like an artist, but I really suggest you trying different artists and looking at different ways that do, they do things and then pull it together and make it your own. So. This is a good way, I talk about layering, to determine your density um, and how your different paints will come out and what colors will be prominent or dominant and take over. So I plan on layering these different. I'm going to uh, layer first with a gold. I'm also going to put a layer of the silver and I'm going to put a layer of the bronze and then I'll continue to layer each one. So let's go ahead and start with the center. And the center one, I want to be gold. And I want the gold to come out on top, which means that would go in first. Okay, so first 
this one on here. Sorry, guys. Just gonna do it like that. Yeah. Oh, that one didn't work out so well. And that one didn't work out so well. <laughs> so, just let her go. Let that sit. Oh, but that's absolutely gorgeous. That is absolutely gorgeous. Okay, just look at that. That is stunning, guys. I absolutely love that bronze. I love the orange tones, the color family anyway, um, especially the darker tones. So now I'm just going to pour in some white here, guys. The center is always a little bit difficult. Too much paint still I have so much paint but this turned out fantastic the only real negative space I have here is there because I had a little bit too much paint I have some here sorry for the glare guys this is so vibrant that bronze is stunning this is why I love that color and this color combo the flow is absolutely gorgeous. The way that the colors blended were fantastic. I don't really notice any difference from how I layered them in this actual flip cup. But that's okay. I am happy with the outcome. This is absolutely gorgeous, guys. I love it. And I am going to hang it vertical. I'm not sure yet if I'm going to hang it vertical this way or if I'm going to hang it vertical that way. And again, I apologize, guys. It is very bright. I paint in front of a window and along with my other lights, it makes it really hard sometimes, depending on the time of day that I pour, for you guys to really see. But it turned out gorgeous. Absolutely stunning. I could not be happier with this one. It's been a while since I've done a flip cup. And uh, it's a very simple technique that gives you various designs. So anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. As usual, I will link my flip cup playlist for you guys to take a look. As well as the first... Dutch pour. There will be more to come. I will get my consistency. I just have not played around with it since then, uh, but I will be very soon. So if you guys love this as much as I do, I would appreciate you supporting the channel, giving me a big thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, please consider joining and becoming part of the artistic family. And I will see you guys in the next pour. Thank you for watching.